so today we are going to be talking about catchers. Now, what's catchers? Catchers, it stands for quick, easy, cheap, effective, reliable, safe, fantastic, sure, amazing, fire, whatever superlative you want. But basically, it's it's amazing for cleaning up your samples for mainly pesticide analysis. There's a couple of different products out there, so let's go over them. First, let's talk about the catcher's salt. So there's two methods. The first method was an AOAC method that came out. The guys that came out with this method are Anastadis, Lahote, Stanbacher, and Shank. <laughs> They're getting a lot of royalties. I don't know. Probably not. I don't know. But they came out with a, a great method and uh, a lot of people use this. It's really handy. It definitely simplifies sample prep big time. So in the past, you had to use a ton of solvents, glassware, chlorinated solvents. Nobody wants that carcinogenic stuff around, right? So this one, you know, you use a lot less solvents. You're just using centrifuge tubes. You mix, 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 shake, 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 spin down. That's, a, that's essentially it. So let's just talk about these catcher salts. So the AOAC method, there's an unbuffered and buffered version. Unbuffered version is six grams of magnesium sulfate and a gram and a half of sodium chloride. And the buffered version, instead of the sodium chloride, you're using sodium acetate. For the EN method, that's the European method. It's four grams of magnesium sulfate gram of sodium chloride, one gram of trisodium citrate dihydrate, and half a gram of disodium hydrogen citrate sesquihydrate. Why would you choose one of the other? It's basically dependent on the recovery that you would get from certain pesticides. They all work great, generally almost interchangeable most of the time, but for certain pesticides, certain mixes give you better recoveries than others. So that would be step one. We're gonna... Um, talk about DSPE, which is step two. It stands for dispersive SPE. And this is a further cleanup of your sample. So there's quite a few different compounds you can choose from for the DSPE. You pick the compounds based on what you need. So there's, of course, there's magnesium sulfate. That's always there and that removes excess water. And then there's PSA, which stands for Primary and secondary amine. Right, right, which uh, which that's going to be used for removing fatty acids, organic acids. GCB you can choose, which stands for... Graphitized carbon black. Right, right, and that's used for removing pigments, chlorophyll, getting the color out of there. And there's also C18, which is... C18. Right, right, and that's uh, used to remove nonpolar interferences. So based on what you need, you, you, you pick what you want. And there's also a few other compounds like zirconium, which could be used in place of C18 and, and PSA. And again, they all have different recoveries and different um, effects on your sample. So we're gonna be analyzing apple, okay? So I have an apple here. Can you homogenize this for me? Well, we don't have a homogenizer. Well, I'll think of something. What are you doing? Oh, oh, come on! All right, let's get let's get this going. Let's add the catcher salt to this. Case in point: when you're adding samples to the tube, you want to make sure you go matrix first and then salt. Don't go salt and then the matrix after. It'll create too much heat. You don't want that. You're gonna get crappy recoveries. So remember, you want to add the salts last. We have some sample here. We're gonna add a CPO nitrile. Usually you can have one of those bottle dispensers that's really handy, but for now I'm just gonna pour some in. All right. And then lastly, you're gonna add your catcher salts, pour it in. And then after you add your salts, you wanna shake. Hey, you look like you're pretty good at this. You practice a lot? Really? Okay, uh, I'm gonna pretend not to be offended by that. Um, all right, so let's get this in a vortexer. And now after it's vortexed, you wanna, let's get this in the centrifuge. All right, now that everything is centrifuge, you're gonna notice that the sample separated in two layers. Now we're ready for the second step. Now the second step, you wanna take about the supernatant of the sample and you wanna pipette that into a 
15 mil centrifuge tube. And it's time to add your DSPE salts. All right, so we'll get those guys in. We're gonna shake. Professional. All right, I'm gonna put this in the vortexer. <laughs> and then after we vortex, you centrifuge again, you spin down, you take the supernatant, you can filter it in a syringe filter if you want, and then it's ready to go into the LCMS for pesticide analysis.